Just a quick update on the cat mate by pet mate uh, drinking fountain for cats and small dogs. They do make a bigger one for bigger dogs. I have to make a couple sizes bigger. But this unit's only about 24 bucks. And um, filters are running about three bucks a piece if I remember right. You buy them in three or four packs usually. I haven't really changed the filter yet. I keep cleaning the original filter, but I got a couple ones ready to go in. In fact, I'll probably call it quits on this filter now. I did clean it every time I take it apart and clean the unit. I clean the filter, back flush it. I put fresh carbon in it uh, a couple weeks ago. It's about ready to go now though. It's getting kind of slimy. Up here I've got uh, well water, so it does get slimy. I usually go from one place to another every week, or twice a week even. So this unit gets taken apart and moved with me. I didn't buy a second one. So I figure, well, the time I go from one place to the other, I need to take it apart, clean it anyway. So this kind of keeps keeps my discipline up on that. But the cat is drinking a lot more water. He drinks from all three levels, especially he likes that top level. Doesn't have to bend over to get to it. And yeah, he drinks way more water than he used to. And yeah, that means uh, a bigger clump in the litter box. That's the only drawback, but. Um, keeping his, you know, urinary system flushed out prevents crystals from forming, and the crystals are what irritate him and uh, cause his little incident where he peed in the guest room bed. So all in all, I'm happy. You know, for 24 bucks, it's plastic. If you kick it by accident, you're not going to break it. It's uh, it's very well engineered, actually. If you take it apart, it's real simple. So yeah, at this point I'm happy. Oh, I was going to give you an update on the power usage. It's consuming 40 milliamps right now off the wall. And that's at, uh, we're up to 118.6 now. We were a little lower. Um, what is this, 0.2 watts? Wish I could see better. I got this unit upside down. So yeah, it doesn't need as much power. That stuff is a factor because it's on all the time. Or you can put an X10 timer on it or some kind of timer and have it shut off when you know the cat's not going to be using it. But then, you know, that makes the scum grow faster too. So that last ring I gave you was probably watts, I hope. Watt hour VA. Kilowatt hours. I really have to give you a timed thing on it. Yeah, 40 milliamps is all you really need to know, I guess. And this is what the innards look like. The little power pack, the only thing bad about it is it does run kind of warm, so I know it's not terribly efficiently made. That's why I wanted to measure the power. But 40 milliamps ain't too bad. It's nice that the length is all in, attached to this, but then you've got a little disconnect and a little tail coming off the unit. It makes it really easy to uh, pull the power, you know, you don't have to chase down the... My other place, I have to put this under the kitchen table. So you can, i got to crawl under there. So if I want to clean this thing, I don't want to have to go to the outlet. I can just unplug it right at the fountain. And uh, then just haul this part in. And this just slips right over the other part, obviously. But you see there's a wall here, so nothing can creep underneath. This is all filtered, and nothing can creep over the, under the filter. And then the pump back, you know, sucks from here, the filtered water, puts it out on top and trickles back down to the pool. The uh, pump is very easy to service. You, uh, there's instructions on it too, and you just kind of kind of play it by eye, and it just pops off that easy. You can clean it out. This top lid comes off, and there's some tubing in there. And when this whole lid is pulled off, and you get everything cleaned out, you can also actually pull the armature out of the motor, which is just a powdered, citered metal thing. 
um, you know, the coils are in the, the field coils are in the housing. Don't run that, don't run this thing without being in water. Um, it will get too hot. Probably shorten its life, if not kill it. I recommend getting a dollar store, you know, uh, baby bottle uh, brush, bottle brush. Keeping it with the kit here. So this is the pump taken apart. This lid pries off with just your fingernail pressure. And then you pry out this cap. Just this little water duct thing here. And you can catch the edge right here and here and slowly get it out. And then, if you feel you need to, uh, the armature comes popping out if you tug at it the way I just did with my fingernails. And you can make sure there's no slime built up on the armature. And they tell you to use a, uh, this is for hard water like I've got even. They tell you to use a vinegar and water solution to clean everything out. That wouldn't be appropriate if you didn't have hard water. If you had real soft water or water softener, I wouldn't use vinegar. Um, in fact, I'm using bleach in water just to sanitize everything. Um, it's going to have a bit of time to dry out before I use it again. So I'm not worried about you know, the bleach polluting everything. I'm going to put a new filter in anyway. And even so, this filter, you know, the bleach will be evaporated by the time I get to where I'll be setting this thing up again. It's going to be at least a couple hours at the very least before I set it up again. And then it just pops back together. You know, the tricky thing is you got to make sure this thing's lined up. So you got half scale. I think that's right. I think it's the way I put it on. Yeah, there we go. And that's all set. Then I just brush everything else off and get all the scum out of the housings.